Hey everyone, thanks for dropping by the channel today. We've got a great episode for you. We're going to be showing you some photographs that I made just Tuesday up in the state of Maine. Along the coast, you're going to love them. So this episode is all about traveling up the coast of Maine and making photographs along the way. And really what I was doing is I was scouting for locations for our uh, lighthouse tour that I'm doing with Bill Fortney at the end of next month. And we hit some locations that I had never been to before. I shouldn't say that. I, I'd been to them before, but um, I was on vacation, wasn't taking photographs or whatever it was. But really what we wanted to do is hone down some locations that in the correct light will be really awesome. So uh, I hope you enjoy this slideshow. I'm going to narrate as we go through and, and talk a little bit about the experience that we had uh, at certain locations and the lenses I used. And for this, I was shooting with the X-T3 and the 16 to 80 the 70 to 300 and occasionally I use the uh, 10 to 24 so got some great stuff for you so hold on for some great images well we started this location scouting trip by heading up to Bailey Island a place I've never been before and because we knew that there was a really cool shack at the end of the cove here. This shot is of a uh, derelict boat pulled up on the beach at the head of Mackerel Cove. And you know, uh, with the 10 to 24, it made a very, very interesting image. And then I decided to shoot against the light and got, some, got a really nice black and white image here. Uh, I really enjoy this and it opened up the shadows a little bit and oh God, just came out absolutely stunning. Then we made our way down to the other end of Mackerel Cove and this shack, I've been wanting to photograph this shack for absolutely ever it seems like. And we've got an old derelict boat that had been pulled up on the beach which I think kind of makes it interesting. And there were various different shots that made this kind of interesting. Got a nice reflection here with the seaweed in the foreground. It was dead low tide, so we got some great reflections going on here. What was really interesting is we had incredible clouds coming in, in and out, in and out, which were bathing the area in light. And we got some great reflections of that as well, as you can see in this vertical here with this shack at the end of Mackerel Cove over in Bailey Island, Maine. I was using the 16 to 80 for all of these shots. Now, the next place we headed out to was Bug Light in South Portland. What an incredible place this is. It's got a beautiful little park there, Bug Light Park. And the clouds were just rolling over us. And I, I knew right away I had to make a black and white of this. And it came out amazing. Then we saw the ferries going by and we were able to make Bug Light kind of frame the, the ferries going by. And we also had a really interesting, uh, what do you call it, a tourist boat. It was going by the harbor and I wanted to make sure that I got the cathedral of the Catholic Church behind it. The shots of Bug Light were all made with the 16 to 80. And this shot of this tourist boat going by was made, made with the 70 to 300. This image is very, very sharp. It's amazing. This lens is really, really nice. shot here made of spring point ledge light with the ferry going by it was made with the 7300 and it really gives you some depth to the image nice 3d effect to it even with this little kid here it shows you how tall this lighthouse really is both of these lighthouses are pretty close together and in south portland so they're very easy to get to so one of the crown jewels of the main coast obviously is portland head light there's many different angles of this lighthouse which are really cool we had clouds going in and out, and we only had a few times where the light really lit up the lighthouse like this, and this is one of those times. And you can see Ram Island Ledge Light over there in the corner. And I tried 
tried to get some different angles here, and this is one of them, but unfortunately the, the, uh, the light didn't, didn't help me out much. For all of these images, I used the 16 to 80, which is a beautiful lens for just carrying around and getting these types of shots. Next, we headed over to Biddeford Pool and walked out through the East Point Sanctuary to East Point and photographed uh, Wood Island Light, which is a really cool lighthouse. It looks like the, you know, the keeper's house is abandoned now, but you gotta wait for a lobster boat to go by, and I was really lucky here. I had the 70 to 300 with a 1.4X teleconverter on it, and it worked really, really well for this situation. Next, we headed out to Cape Porpoise, where there is a uh, lobster co-op and a great restaurant and everything, and photographed Goat Island Light. Really cool place. A lot of lobster boats in the, in the harbor and everything. Very, very nice. I used the 70 to 300 with a 1.4X TC for this image right here because it was pretty far out there. We then headed over to Cape Natick to photograph the lobster pond house with all these buoys outside. And I'm telling you, in black and white, it's pretty dramatic with the sky and the clouds and everything that we're going by. Since it's early spring, there was so much stuff around each side of this place that I decided to shoot close up and use my 16 to 80 for the shot. And the last thing we did was head over to another one of those Crown Jewels, Nubble Lighthouse. This is a very dramatic lighthouse that is on an island and it's a beautiful spot. And we got some okay images. The light was in and out the way it was, and it was dead low tide, so there weren't a lot of great opportunities, uh, but it didn't come out too bad. Again, the perfect lens for this situation was the 16 to 80. You know, 24 to 120 is such a usable range. I can't say enough about it. Hey, if you wouldn't mind, please give me a like for this video and uh, subscribe to the channel and make a comment. That would be awesome. So that's it for this week, and we'll catch you next time.